find out what the hell happened to this kid's squash, why he turned the way he did, maybe take a closer look at old daddy, old Taliban Bob, find out what the hell happened to him, find out what the hell happened to this president. Now the Obama administration says anti-Muslim hate speech can be punished. You can be prosecuted. Imagine that. Prosecuted for anti-Muslim hate speech. Well, what the hell does that mean? This just came over right before I came on. I just seen this and I had to I had to post this. I didn't get a chance to really read it, read it, read it. I just went over it real quick. But one of Obama's U.S. attorneys in Tennessee said that Americans who spoke against Islam could be prosecuted. But you can talk about the Christians all you want to. They're creeps. The Christians? Ah! You can talk about them. You can urinate on a cross. You can burn a cross. You can make fun of Jesus. You can make fun of God. You can make fun of... But don't you dare make fun of Allah. Or that prophet Mohammed. Hmm. Can't do that. That's hate speech. Bill Killian. Bill Killian. U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Tennessee said that inflammatory material against Islam might be a violation of federal civil rights laws. What do you mean, might be? What the hell? Shut up. Such a violation could bring the federal government down on those opposing Islam here in the United States. <clears throat> well, didn't the president, didn't he say that the future would not be kind to those? Uh, this is what he said after nine, I mean, uh, uh, after uh, uh, Benghazi blew up. You know that filmmaker that created all this mess and killed Mr. Stevens and Mr. Woods and Mr. Smith and Mr. Doherty and however many other men that were killed, but we don't know who they are. They were, they were not supposed to be there. Because you can't put those men down there on the books because they were doing arms deals with Al-Qaeda. So we don't know how many actually died. There was a lot that was injured. We don't know that number either. We're not allowed to talk to them. As reported by the Tuloma News, Killian and the FBI's Kenneth Moore hosted a public disclosure in a diverse society to help the community learn how anti-Islam speech could land an American before authorities. Hmm. This is an educational effort with civil rights laws as they play into freedom of religion and exercising freedom of religion. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Killian. There's also a thing in that First Amendment called freedom of speech. I guess they didn't teach that in law school. This is also to inform the public what federal laws are in effect and what the consequences are. There are no consequences to freedom of speech. You understand? There's no consequences to freedom of speech. Well, there shouldn't be. There are, but there shouldn't be. Killian talked of how some Muslims are innocent of terror. Well, okay. And that terrorism is committed by only a small number of Muslims. Really, a small number. Well, they may be a small number, but they're sure as a hell of a lot of them. I mean, my God, the Taliban numbers and Al-Qaeda numbers, and they, all of them. There's, uh, there's, you can't count all of the terrorist organizations there are. The Muslim, the anti-Muslim, I mean, the, uh, the Islam terrorists, whatever you want to call them. Jihadis. There's too many to count. What are you talking about? There's a small number. Small number. They're all over the world. They're all over Europe, Canada. They're in the United States. They're in Australia. They're all over the Middle East. They're in Asia. 
They're all over the world. What do you mean? Terrorism is committed by only a small number of Muslims. What do you mean by that? Then he illegitimately invoked the 1995 bombing of the Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. You remember that. What the hell that has to do with... uh, the war on terror right now, I, I, I have no idea. doesn't make any sense to me. To link Muslim-perpetrated terror to the bombing of Timothy McVeigh is simply illegitimate, this article says. Well, duh. They had nothing to do with each other. Killian mentioned uh, the two in the same breath as if they are one and the same. But see, Mr. V- Mr. McVeigh, uh, yeah, he said he was brought up Catholic, but he considered himself agnostic. But this guy says, no, Timothy McVeigh and this other guy, what the hell was his name now? God, dog it. Uh, What the heck? Uh, Terry Nichols, that's his name. Claims that they were both Christians. Well, what does that mean? I don't care what the religion is. And what does this have to do with the war on terror. What does this have to do with Islam? Why would this guy bring this up? Well, what he's doing, he's trying to show that Christians are more terrorists than Muslims. See, this is called propaganda. 